Hello dear students, in today's video we are going to learn about a, an, and some. So let's start. Let's take a look at the alphabets. Look at the alphabets and tell me which letters are vowels. That is correct. So we have a, e, I, O, and U. Great. Now, A, E, I, O, U are vowels. And the other letters are called consonant. And this is very important for today's lesson. So remember that. So in English, we have nouns. Nouns can be singular or plural. A singular means one, like a cat. A cat, it's in the singular form. In plural, so it's cats, three cats, we're going to concentrate on the singular. So, when do we use a? We use a before a singular countable noun that begins with a consonant. With a consonant meaning not a vowel. Like a car, a dress, a fish. All these words are singular and they are countable. You can count them. And they begin with a consonant. Now, what about an? We use an before a countable noun that begins with a vowel, like an apple. So, the word apple begins with the vowel A. So, we don't say a apple, we say an apple, an orange, an elephant. Let's take a look at the other examples. So, a, a boy, a cow, a house, a mouse an avocado, an egg, an igloo, an umbrella. Yay! Yay! It's challenge time. There is tree near the house. So, what do we say? There's a tree or there's an tree. A or an. You are correct. Excellent. So we say there is a tree near the house because the word tree starts with a consonant and not a vowel. Let's continue. I ate egg for breakfast. I ate Great, I say, I ate an egg for breakfast because egg starts with a vowel. Well done. There is elephant at the zoo. So what do you think? Well done. There is an elephant at the zoo. What about this one? Sarah has pen. What do you think? Great, a pen. What about this one? This is beautiful baby. <laughs> Correct, this is a beautiful baby. Isn't it cute? Well done, you guys. Now let's talk about some. We talked about a and an.
for singular, when we talk about one countable noun, so we use some when we talk about plural countable nouns, nouns that we can count, like some oranges, some eggs, some teachers, and we also use some when we talk about things that we can't count, like sugar. Can you count sugar? No. So you say some sugar, some money, some milk. Now let's play a game. You have to know whether we use a, an, or some. Are you ready? <laughs> Great. Let's start. Do you want apple? Perfect. Do you want an apple? Number two. Grandma drinks tea every morning. Grandma drinks some tea every morning. Great, because we can't count tea. Well done. What about this one? Adam reads books every month. Excellent. Adam reads some books every month. Yay. It is a great party. It is a great party. Great job. Let's take a look at this one. There are flowers in the garden. Very good. There are some flowers in the garden. Great. Excellent. I hope that you understand the topic. Good luck, everyone, and goodbye.